Hello everyone, welcome to Fears to Fathom. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. If not, I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. It's been a long time since I made a video. It's been like seven months, right? Something like that. It's been crazy, I know. But I'm here, I'm back again, hopefully for a long time. But college has been getting in the way, so I don't know how long I will be around for. But I am putting education over YouTube, so I'm sorry, but YouTube is just like a side job for me. I can't make it a main job unless if I blow up like crazy crazy and maintain that popularity which i'm hoping for one day but right now we are still on the grind we're still going at it but let's get into fears of fathom we are doing iron bark lookout episode four it's been a little while since it released i know i'm a little late to the trend on this i'm here i'm doing this so let's get into it all right episodes iron bark lookout this is the second to last episode what that's crazy iron bark lookout may 12th Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce of Fathom Carson House. <gasps> that was me! What I'm about to recount what happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Let's get into it. WSD to drive. Ooh, we are right into this. Oh man, here we go. We're gonna cruise along this road. I'm going to tailgate someone real hard. The speed limit's 40 miles an hour, but I'm not doing 40. Kayla Nelson, what's up, Kayla? Okay, I can't text while driving. I'm sorry. Is this music copyrighted? I don't know. I've I lived a very solitary life. You know, we should pull over. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. Oh, I'm drunk. Oh, we're gonna drive in this truck. <laughs> nah, psych. I don't know what that sign says. I've always loved the great outdoors. Me too, bud. Me too. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Exactly, man. Being in the city sucks. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Kayla, shut up. Okay, let's pull over real quick. Let's read these messages. Kayla, what's what's this lore looking like? This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Sometimes. Like, you spelled sometimes wrong, you idiot. Walking up with nature away from people just getting paid to watch the wind go by. I wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, ooh, got my little license right here, Iron Bark Fire Department. Iron Bark? They are staffing me at Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staffing cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I if I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. We gotta keep driving. I'm gonna go 50 in a 25, and hopefully not hit a small child it looks like we've arrived to our destination question mark i what i can't drive i'm so drunk i saw the diner kayla was talking about should we pull in there no i'm i'm good i'm not pulling in there i missed the diner at first okay fine i'll turn around Jeez, we gotta turn around turn this dumb rv around i was starving i had to get food i'm going to get food you idiot i wasn't very proud of my drive oh oh no 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 Okay, UPS man. That's a UPS truck for sure. You know, I like this lo-fi music, but I hope it's not copyrighted. Go! All right, I'm sorry. Oh, gee, hey, hey! You went right through me, you little idiot. All right, let's pull into this diner. We got NPCs. Yeah, we got NPCs standing here. I'm gonna kind of pull into this area. Show off my amazing parking skill. Okay, you know what? This ain't, this ain't working. Let's just pull in right here. There we go. All right, let's get out. Space to get up. Ooh, I got a nice little RV here. Got the world map, got a newspaper, presidential cliffhanger, awaits Florida recount. Florida is crazy, man. 
All right, let's get out of here. Man, it feels good to be back in the world of fears to fathom. All right, let's go talk to this guy over here. Hey, buddy. How are you doing, buddy? What's up, man? You're eating a burger? Ew, I hate that noise. Let me have the burger. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You're new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Man, thank you. You're so nice. Let's go inside this little diner here. How do I get in? Can't go in through that way? Where's the front? Okay, here's the front. What's up, everyone? I am making a YouTube video here. You should all subscribe to me and like the video. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? And you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to take any seat you'd like and I will be right with you. All right, thank you. Hey, can I sit with this man? Oh, no, I can't. What's up, bro? How's the food? He just staring at me. What's in the bathroom? Oh, man, I can't even look at myself. The dryer. What? what? Why is it gonna go black for a dr dryer, bro? Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Get me out! I was done with it. Okay, good. Uh, okay, let me just sit. We got the menu right here. Hello, ma'am. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. What can I get you for today? Man, cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese with shit, sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. I think I'm gonna go with the cheeseburger with fries. Aha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Large bulk. Perfect, anything else? That'll be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out. As soon as that's done, I'll just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, appreciate it. All right, I guess we're gonna wait for our food. It's it's kind of a long time waiting for my food. It's been like 20 minutes here. Can I use the salt? <gasps> I can throw the salt. I shouldn't throw it though. I, I should I should keep it here because I need to season my fries. And this burger better be seasoned and it better be pink inside or else I'm suing this place. Hello, ma'am. Give me my burger. Thank you. Oh, consume. No, no, no. Wait, I need to season these fries. No. Okay. Eating fries that aren't salted with no sauce. If you're going to be a while before I had a meal like this again. Ah, uh, drinking my drink. Huge swig. Yes. Mmm, this Coke is very delicious. I love the acidity. Kayla, what do you want? Uh, so, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Mitch Scott. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Congratulations, man. Okay, yep. Let's eat the burger. Ooh, it's a Big Mac. Kayla, I'm trying to eat. Leave me alone. Alright, I'm done with my burger. Told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of quit. Hey! I was- I was reading my text messages, you nerd. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get you the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I need to read more Kayla messages. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. And the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Huh, no. Here's a check. Your total is $6. Let's give a 15% tip. 50 is a little too much. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. Let's get up and get out of here. Uh, she's not looking. Oh, run the cash rusher. Grab my money. Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, see you, bro. A long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north to make delivery. What about you? I'm a stop for uh, Ironburg State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Uh-oh. What kids? Kids that possess animatronic? Wait, no. This is not Five Nights at Freddy's. Possibly. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Indeed. And I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm out of here. I'm going- That guy's still munching on the burger, man. That guy must really enjoy that burger. Must savor every single bite of it. Get back to my RV. The- the crystal ship. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, wait. Not the right side. This side. Let's go. The door is wide open! I forgot to shut the door. Where? <laughs> Okay, okay, it was- uh, okay, I started the RV. I started the RV. Oh man, we are very fast. Let us get out of here. Make sure no one's coming. Okay, I'm going way too fast. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. This little town's nice, but I need to get out of here. 8.02 p.m. It's nighttime. I want to include the location of this park, I but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Uh-oh, that's not good. Gotta keep driving. I drove past the trailer. Okay, fine. I'll turn around because I'm not a me bad man. I'm a nice man. Hopefully there's no car coming this way. We are pulling in. Uh, I'm going to park right here. Whatever. Uh, let's get it. Let's get out. Oh, there's another RV here. All right, here's the trail. All right, let's... What's in here? Ah! That scared me so bad. Holy moly, you scared me. Your first 
Words are holy moly. You scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm transferred to the new fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check that. Did I just see- Wait, wait, wait. Who's walking back there? Who is walking back there? Anything new? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season. But here are your keys. Take keys. Tower key. Let me open the trail gate for you. Open! Open! Thank you! Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long height to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. Take flashlight. I will be careful. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make sure your first weather report from your system just to, so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. All right, let's use this flash- What? Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. You got it. Bobcats and bears. Yep, sure. Nasty business. You got it. So quit talking to me. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh, I need my bag. Oh, I need my stuff to sleep. Oh. If this was me, then I would probably want my stuff as well. Ah, stuff acquired. Who's walking? Who's walking? Everything went black. 11.32 p.m. All right. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Yeah, we should probably get in that tower, because it might be nice and warm. Maybe not. I hope there's a heater inside of it. Oh, uh, yep, we got the Ironburg Tower and the trail sign. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I wouldn't think so. I think it'd be very uncomfortable and stuffy. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Indeed, indeed I did. Man, I must have gotten a good leg workout. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Yep, let's get in here. Come on. Let's throw my stuff on that bed. Let's go. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Yeah, that is a very comforting smell. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Maybe. Maybe for the next few months. Oh, yeah, we got to clock in. Let's do this. Radio equipment was sitting on the... Okay, forgot to turn the generator at first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, generator. Don't tell me it's at the bottom. Oh, boy. I love, I love this. Let's get another good leg workout in here. Ah, uh, generator. Let's turn it on. Let's go! At least we didn't need a skill check like Dead by Daylight. Home sweet home, now we can clock in. Clock. Oh man, we got rainbow instead of windows. Initializing, starting rainbow 98. Oh man, the golden era. What is- oh, tower 11. Tower 11. Wait, what's the pass? The password. What is the password? Maybe it's iron bark? Maybe? No. Check the iron bark rules flyer. Oh, thank you. All rules. Let's see. System password for iron is iron bark tower number. I was so close. I was so close. So we're going to do like, I think it's 12. No, it's it's 11. It's 11. Oh, yeah. Tower 11. Duh. There we go. All right. Loading up. Booting up. We are in. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. I'm here to help you make the most of your computer today. Thank you. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? It's going all right. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not the only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. Service reporting. All right. Temperature in Fahrenheit. What's the temperature? Oh, static. Hello, hello. Who is this? Oh, yeah. Hello, Connor. Thought I was going to be out here alone. Thank you, I suppose. What? Oh, it's Jack. Jack Nelson. Uh, I'm just looking for a change. <laughs> I'm a transfer from Iron House. Horse, whatever. I'm really tired. No. Got it, thanks. Alright, let's get a fire going then. Osborne Firefinder, it's like a giant compass size of pizza. Where do I light it up? Oh, the wood stove. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. Okay, where's my wood at? Uh, where's my wood? There's no firewood. Marley? Yeah, there's no wood. Yeah, I'm sure. She didn't provide any wood. Well, I can't get a fire going if I don't have wood! Okay. Let's go to the storage sack. Sh shack. 
Storage shack. Down we go. Looks like we got some firewood in here. Let's grab some. Well, this is kind of awkward. Do I have to throw my matches for wood? Yep. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go back up and back down for my matches. All right, let's place it in here. Needed to light it up. At least they didn't close off the entrance right there. Got him back. Let's light this thing up. Need a gasoline? I poured gasoline all over. All right, pour more then. There we go. Douse this thing in gas. All right, let's see. Let's light one up now. There we go. I mean, my house is gonna catch on fire. <laughs> yep. Indeed. No. Okay, let's make a report then. Temperature in Fahrenheit. How do I see that? Oh, there's the thermometer. It's about... Uh, f about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Say 50. Wind speed? I don't know what the wind speed is. Let's see. Let's go outside. I can't really see what it is. Oh, it's 19. Okay, 19 knots. 19. Cloud condition? Weather condition? Uh, I'd say it's cloudy, yeah. With the moon out. Partially cloudy. Uh, yeah, no, we'll just say cloud. Number of hikers assisted, zero. All right, uh, reported by Jake, I think, right? Submit. What's, what's my name? Oh, wait, no, my name is Jack. Jack Nelson, I think. Or I just put Jack. What? Something didn't look right. What did not look right? Oh, 45.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That's probably something that's wrong. Okay, so we, so we don't estimate it. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. What, is it raining? I thought- Okay, clear. Jeez, this- this- this is really, uh, touchy. Right here. Okay, cool. You too. Uh, good night, Connor. Alright, submit to the report. Now we can, uh, go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Nighty night. 3.26 a.m. Unintelligible. Oh. What? Okay, let's get up. Who's talking to me? Who is talking to me? Bam. Static. Connor? I had to pee. Alright. Let's go. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Do I just do it off the ledge? Being left alone was somewhat unsettling. Okay, I guess we're going right off the ledge. Alright, let's go. We're done. Let's get back. We, we don't go down. Okay, let's just get right back in here. Let's go back to sleep. Night two. What is this? Five nights at Freddy's? Ah, oh, nice cup of joe in the morning. It's just you and the wind and the time that just melts away. Sip the soap. Hey, it's Tower 12. What's up, Connor? Let's... Okay, let's take a photo. You know what? I think this is a good view right here. Picture of the sunrise. Let's finish our coffee here. Let's take another photo. I don't know. Okay, let's... We're, we're done. Space to get off. We were just dangling over the edge. We were sitting on the ledge. Man, you, you've you got... You're risky. New guy. You copy? Yes. Yes, I copy. Copy that, Connor. What's up? Bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. Alright, let's go look north. Yes, I do. The smoke is white, indicative of a campfire. Indicative of... Yeah, indicative, indicative, oh, whatever. Yes, Connor, I'm coming back. Yes. Yep. Exactly. Yes, sir. It's summer. Okay, heading north. You too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, true, true. Over and out. Where's my bear spray? Oh yeah, here it is. This must be bear spray. Oh, I blinded myself! Imagine getting sprayed in the eyes with the bear spray. That must be, like, actually the most painful experience ever. Alright, let us go. Let's- let us go north. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Um, we probably have to head right- yeah. Lacy Trail. Oh gosh, bears in the woods. 8.37 p.m. Man, it took that long? That's crazy. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh! What? I don't like that. Okay, we've still got a fire going here. Hello? Hello? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa! 
Okay, sorry, just got home. Got the recipes for a cat pot pizza pasta bake. You'll not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send pics when you check. Are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector is very good service. I got the nice pictures. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. You might try it tonight. Uh, someone was ghost hunting. Got an EV. Got a EMP, EVP, whatever. Again, it's got a spirit box. Who's whistling? Hello? Who's there? Anybody there? Uh oh. Okay, do we head back? Frequency 155.92. Okay, we got frequency. Tower 11, closest tower. Let's head back. I knew I needed to put out the campfire before heading back to the tower. I'm surprised I didn't bring a flashlight. Alright, let's put out this fire. I had to put it out. Uh, my hands were full. Take this. Bam. Where's the water? Oh, right over here. Duh. Scoop some water up here, and let's dump this all over the fire. Bam, it's put out. Okay, good. Now we can grab our bear spray and head back. Alright, let's go, let's go. I hope no bears come out and attack me, because that would be unfortunate. Oh! Uh... I'm, I'm good, I'm good. 9.07 p.m., I'm good, I'm good. As I hike back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but would think what might have happened. Yeah, you think? Let me get back to home sweet tower home. Get up, go, 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 go. Oh, uh, the moon is shining bright tonight. Is the fire still going? No. I had a report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Yes, sir. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? All right. Talk about campsite. No. I know, I'm right. No. What do you mean? Has this been happening a lot? Oh. Mention Scream. It was a manly scream. Kids went missing in that area. What does it have to have with campfires? Entities? Okay. They might be. That's unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Anyways, thanks for staying vigil. Yes, sir. We're gonna contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons are gooning. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. Over and out. You too, over and out. Alright, we gotta make our report for the night, right? Our temp is 50.1. Okay, Kayla, what do you want? Oh, not delivered. That's great. Okay, oh, uh, yeah, we got this cool view of this pizza. Yeah, looking at the photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, boy. Do I have to start cooking now? What, what, what does this recipe consist of? Uncooked pasta? Gotcha. Okay, do we just put everything in the pan? Okay, uncooked pasta. Marinara sauce. Alright, where's the marijuana- uh, marinara sauce? Got a bunch of fish up here. Oh, yeah, fridge might be reasonable. Come on, grab the sauce. There we go, marinara. Put it in there. And then we need pepperoni. Alright, pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni. Slap that in there. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Yeah, this is mozzarella, yep. Put that in there. And diced tomatoes. Where is the diced tomatoes at? Those are peas. Oh, diced tomatoes. I destroyed the fridge. All right, and there we go. Gotta put it in the oven. There we go. Slap that in there. And let it cook. It'll probably organize itself tomorrow. New guy. You there? Yeah, I'm here. New guy. You copy? Yes, 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 yes. I copy. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Okay, good job. Exactly. That's the duty. I was just getting to it. Okay, you got it. Yes, sir. 
Thank you, Connor. Over, 12, off. Over, and out. Over and out. Is this done yet? Come on. Alright, let's make a report anyways. Alright, 50.1 Fahrenheit. 50.1. Wind speed is 20 knots. Man, winds are picking up tonight. Got 20. And it is very cloudy. Let me guess these are storm clouds. I'm just gonna put cloudy. Zero hikers assisted. Jack. Here we go. Submit. Perfect. I was right on that. Hey, it's done! I remember the smell. Uh, I like eating in bed. Your bed's gonna be messy. But let's eat in bed. Yummy! I was already full. Well, okay. Let's just get up. Get up and put this in the fridge for later. There we go. Alright, let's sleep. It was getting cold. I thought, oh yeah, I gotta get the wood stove loot. No one's gonna abduct me. In the hair? Oh. I don't like that. I'm going back. No one's gonna whistle me in these woods. I don't care if you're romantically interested. I am not interested in you. Okay, bam. Gas. All right. Matches. Bam. 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 Done. Sp sped run that. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Board? Ah, uh, board. I just gotta close all of these then. And last one. Right? Yeah, last one. There we go, so no one can peep into my house. Okay, good night. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh yeah, here we go, come on. And last one. There we go, everything is closed now. And let's go sleep. Honk shoe. 2.27 AM. Oh. I was woken by some feeling that caused me to my eyes drift open. Who is here? Who is here? Hey! There's something strange about that night. Who's walking? <gasps> whoa, whoa, is that Satan? Oh, hello, Satan. Um, where's my prayer spray? I'm gonna, I wanna spray you. I'm gonna spray you, Satan. Oh, hello. Ah, pre-fire. I didn't know what to make of this at the moment. Yeah, um, ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to contact Connor. An attempt to, uh, tell him what is going on because Satan's outside my door. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? There's something outside my door. Mention the skull. I don't think these are kids are messing around. This feels like a real some, a some real ritual. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Get some, let's get some sleep. I could Connor didn't make any sense. Oh well, yeah, because he doesn't know what is going on. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. All right, let's put the bear spray down. And go to sleep. Honk shoe even more. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Alright, let's look out for some fires. Occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance and around the tower. Or by scanning the densities of trees of all around me. Oh yeah, we gotta clean this lens. It's dirty. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night and someone just... Blasted a flare in the sky. Who's in those woods? All right, let's go back. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Yeah. What's up, Connor? I need help. Oh. Please, hey, I'm right. Satan was at me. Hello. Can anyone? Oh, Jack. Thank goodness. Oh, this is not Connor. I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I don't even know where to start. I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Oh. I think, I think I'm lost. Can you describe your current location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Very descriptive. I shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's coming. Yeah, I saw here. that. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? 
take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Let me scan the map. All right, let's scan the map real quick. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, uh-huh. I can't really see. Let's just give him... I'm at a trail intersection now. Take the right trail. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. Yep. I could have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. Oh no, he's dead, he isn't he? I'm right here! What? I hear you. Huh? What do you mean? I hear your whistles. I'm in my tower right what? now. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Oh, <gasps> I am hiding. Hello? Satan's at my door. I got a voice meter. Okay, do I just answer the door with bear spray? I got a bear spray and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh! Holy moly, what took you so long in there? That's not Satan. Okay, okay, good. I've been knocking for a few hours. I asked you to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was just assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. What? Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. All right, sir. Gotcha. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I want to screw around there out there, pal. I was required to investigate on the campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you could be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Yes, sir. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Measure the skull. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get, get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for supplies. Okay, thank you. Let me just, uh, go to bed. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay, good thing we have this dinner. Let's go eat. Yummy! The food was cold. Let's microwave it. Bam. Temperature is 57 degrees. 57? Okay, our food's done. My hands were full. I liked eating in bed. Yummy! No one will disturb me at this hour. I love my food. Okay, I'm done with my food. Let's get our wind speed now. 27 knots. Let's get us, uh, 27 knots here. 27. Numbers of high gear assisted. One. Okay, what's the weather can- I'm gonna just put thunderstorm. Or misty? Misty. No. Uh, wind. It's pretty windy outside. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta close the hatches. And the last one. Let's go to sleep. Good night. Okay, I get the low wood stove. I can feel this time is gonna be different. I can feel that we're gonna get like abducted or murdered or something like that. Someone's gonna be in here for sure. Boo! Okay, good. Man, what do you want? Who are you? You just gave me a heart attack, literally. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Sil Silas. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. Sure you are. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. So, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about the fire sightings. Absolutely, but fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I just had to head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead you to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Are you Satan? The guy gave up the creepiest vibes. For sure, bro. Alright, let's put this in here. And I need a... Gas that up. Bam. 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 Whoa. Cool. Let's go. And... Oh my gosh. I'm in there. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I am here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Ran into the radio work tower worker. Guy maintaining the nearby radio tower? It's about yesterday. What? I'm trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? Radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. 
Then who did I just talk to? What you're saying is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Of course. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got this. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Sun and over and out. <laughs> okay, sleep. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangest I had seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. We are playing Five Nights at Freddy's. 9.18 p.m. Alright, it's raining. You got a minute? Sure. Oh, let's go. Okay. Alright, how do I update? Alright. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Okay. Thanks, I got it. Connor is an old guy, I guess. Alright, uh, C-H-K-U-P-D. Check for system updates. Severity unknown. Let's update. Update. Please enter the package code. Alright, 4346084. Package found, looking for serviceable items. Okay, let's... Please enter an active line. 1045. Line not available, 5987. 5487. Okay, there we go. Yay, we got an update. Oh, our system's green. What the? What was that? Hello? This update just like take out. No, this has to be the rain that just took out everything. Okay, what's going on here? Power is. Yeah, power is out, obviously. So, generator must have been shut off. All right, let's go see what the commotion's about. Better not be that Silas guy. And I hope someone's not hiding in there. Generator ran out of gas. Okay, let's go get some gas. And we better not be out of gas upstairs. Gas. Let's fuel this thing up. There we go. It's back up. Up and running. I really had to pee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's go back up. I already have firewood. Okay, everything went dark. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator is under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. That that's valid. 2.34 a.m. Sorry, we've got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this one, Jack. Okay. Jack. What? Jack. What? I need you to wake up. Yes, sir. Copy. Okay, I copy. I copy. I'm coming. Jack, you copy? Right here. What happened? Yep. What? Great. Let me have a look. Let me have a look see. You know what? What? Okay, thank you, Connor. Yes, sir. Yep. Good idea. Alright, let's look for the smoke. Oh, yeah. Got some no good people. Okay, stick my flashlight. Where's my flashlight? I got my flashlight. There we go. Let's go! Let's go to those dumb campers. I didn't feel safe going downstairs. Bro. Bro. Alright, where are my binoculars at? There they are. Let's get a look on these campers. Alright. Scroll to zoom. No freaking way, dude! I didn't know what to make of it. The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. That's nuts, bro. Alright, let's take the photo. And... Snap. Oh no, they noticed me! Oh no! Uh-oh. They're already here? Got a report, got a report. Okay, never mind. Um, let's hide. Hello? Oh, man. Oh, no, they're busting down the door. 
Yo, wait, nobody's home! No one's home! Open the door, come on! <gasps> it's Satan. You didn't bother to look under the bed? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I should probably stay under here, though. Because I'm not going to get, uh, I'm not going to risk getting caught by that guy. I think I'm safe. I had to make a run. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh! Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to go, we need to go. Bro is viciously angry. Oh, uh, run, run! I got drenched in the rain, I don't care. Oh! I got caught. What? Alright, this time, I'm gonna hide- I'm gonna hide in that porta potty down there. Let's see where that gets me. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on! Hide, 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 Okay, hide, hide! What? I did- it didn't shut! <laughs> okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. I did it this time. Go away, Satan. Go away. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go away. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're okay. We're running. Making a mad dash now. Go, 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 go! I'm out of here, bro. I'm out. Get out of here. Running like this is like faster. Oh, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get inside, the, get inside the RV. We are driving, bro. We are out of here. I, as an adrenaline kicked and I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. I, breath, I radioed in, the alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we got a little stir out crazy out here, Mitch answered. I can't read. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Yeah, I wouldn't want to set foot in my, those woods either when there's a cult running around. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. And that's the end. This episode was really good. I really enjoyed it. This was a very long episode though, but it was still very good. The estimation was about two hours long, but it took me about an hour and 25 minutes to get through, excluding the deaths and turns and turnarounds and stuff. Man, Rail, you and your team did an outstanding job. I hope to see another episode very soon here, but of course, take your time on the next episode. And with that, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Goodbye.